Hello everyone. Today I am going to demonstrate the working and implementation of a very popular and a classic two player game called Tic Tac Toe which is also known as Knots and Crosses. This is a desktop based Java application implemented using Java Swing and JDBC concept. So let's begin the application. On executing the jar file, the application opens up the main window from where we can perform the following three operations. Firstly, clicking on the instructions button displays the instructions for playing the game. Secondly, if you are a new player, clicking on the new player button enables you to create a new player account and add the new player to the database. We shall now add two new players. See. As you can see, new player is added with the zero values for the player statistics that is his win count, loss count and the draw count. Thirdly, if you are an existing player, clicking on the play button will close the main window and open the game window. Before we begin playing the game, we first need to select two players who will play the game. The combo box is populated with a list of all players from the database. If we do not select the first player, the application prompts us to select the player name. Also, if, we, if the first and the second player name have the same name, the application prompts us to enter a different player name. Once the two players are selected, we click on the start game button to begin playing the game. The game can be played under the three scenarios, player X wins, player 0 wins or it's a draw. I shall now demonstrate the first scenario where player X wins. As you can see, if the player clicks on a non-empty square, the, the application prompts us to choose an empty square. As you can see, the player X wins and both players win score and loss score are updated both on the screen as well as in the database. So now demonstrate the second scenario where player 0 wins. Clicking on the reset button resets the game back to its default values. As you can see, this time player 0 wins and both the players win and loss score are updated on the screen as well as in the database. I shall now demonstrate the draw scenario for the game. As you can see, this time the game is a draw and both the players draw score are updated on the screen and in the database. We shall now look at the core implementation. We have two classes, the tic-tac-toe and the game file. Tic-tac-toe contains the code for the main window. The action event for the instruction button displays the instructions using the J option pane dialog box. The action event for the new player button displays a show input dialog box of J, pane op or J option pane. The user input is then inserted into the database by establishing a connection to the tic-tac-toe database using mysql, uh, MySQL connector of jar the new player record is then inserted using a prepared statement object and, S and insert sql statement if the record is inserted successfully a congratulation message is displayed Congratulations, you can now go ahead and play the game. 
the action event for the play button disposes of the main window and creates an instance of the game class and sets it visible. For the game window, we first invoke the uh, populate player list method. which retrieves the player names from the player table using a select statement and the statement class. Each individual player record is then added to an array. For the select player combo box, player names from the array are added by passing an array as a parameter to both the combo boxes. Launch focus event for player 1 ensures the player is provided with an appropriate error message to select player 1. The item state changed event for player, player 2 checks if player 1 and player 2 names are the same and prompts the player with an error message to enter a different name. If both the player names are correct, correctly selected then the turn label and the win loss draw count labels are updated to reflect the selected player's st statistics. The action event for the start game button initializes the game with data required for the game to begin. Action event for each of the each of the nine square button does the following task. It checks if the player has clicked on any non empty square button. If then displays an error message asking the player to select an empty square. If the player clicks on an empty square, it checks which player turns it is and then updates the turn label value and x and 0 image and then calls the check winner method which checks for the winning 8 winning combinations by calling the check method with the appropriate combination that is the check uh, 1 2 3 that is the top row check 4 5 6 as the middle row check 7, seven 8 9 that is the bottom row check 1 4 7 that is the left column Check 258, that's the middle column. Check 369, that's the right column. And check uh, 159, that's the first diagonal. And there's check 357, that's the second diagonal. Check method. The check method checks if the, if the three parameters are passed as, uh, passed as combination contain the same value and the play count that is greater or equal to 5. It then returns true, else returns false. If the check method returns true, then the winner's name is obtained from the combo box and the winner is declared. The database is then updated using update player stat method to reflect the updated score that is the winner's win score increases by 1 and the loser's loss score is increased by 1. Check draw method. This method checks for player count that is greater or equal to 9 and checks if all the 9 buttons are not empty. If these conditions are satisfied, it returns true and the draw score of both the players are increased by 1 on the screen and on the database as well. Finally, the reset game. Action event for the reset game button initializes the game to its default values. This is the end of the project. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the demonstration and the implementation of this classic two player game called Tic Tac Toe. Thank you so much.